Hello everybody, Tangible Goddess tuning in with you today. Listen to all my kings and queens, grand rising all day, every day. What does the universe want to tell us today? Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and subscribe with your girl, Tangible Goddess. It's my dingy out of fire. I got fire. Yes. Yes. I love you guys. Make sure that you are meditating daily, taking care of that beautiful, beautiful body of yours, getting the ample amount of rest and sleep, and just loving yourself as a whole. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you and appreciate you. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. I love you guys and appreciate you so, so much. Um, today, we're going to do a Zodiac reading about what is bothering you. So, I burned a little, I'm going to sage, burn a little bit more sage to sage my cards, to cleanse the cards, calling spirit in to guide us. So, I'll let you know what's bothering you and we'll let the universe tell you what you need to do. Okay. We all work together here, spirits, spirit guides, and ancestors. We work together just for you guys. So I got my incense burning. Put that lighter out of the way. Let's get this reading pop, and I'll add some music later. Oh, let me sage a little bit more. My sage went out fairly fast. I sage earlier, but I just want to sage some more for you guys. But I can't juke, juke around too much because my phone is almost dead. <laughs> I got to get a camera, but we're going to go with what we got. So, uh, what does the universe want to tell us today about what is bothering you, Aries? Aries, what's bothering you is being a part of the team and not being in charge. So, that's bothering you that you're not the boss. So, what does the universe want to say about it? You're not in charge, Aries, and it's bothering you. notification off. I'm going to pause this for a minute and we're going to come right back. Pull a card for Aries. Get this notification off. Hold on guys. Okay guys, I'm back. Wow. I didn't realize the clock is ticking so fast. I'm back guys. I turned that notification off. I muted it. Hopefully I will remember and not be like, why am I not getting any calls? But anyway guys, uh, let's see Aries. What's bothering you again is being a part of the team and not being in charge. So the universe wants you to. It won't come. I need to put some lotion on my hands. The universe wants you to say you're sorry. Say you're sorry, Aries. Yeah, you know what it is. You need to say you're sorry. It says... Are you carrying around regret? Is there a relationship that needs healing, but you just don't know what to say? Give your pride a rest and simply start with, I'm sorry. Take responsibility and acknowledge your role in the situation. Apologize for them and for you. Then let it go and be very proud of yourself. Making amends isn't easy, but it's a huge leap towards your spiritual path. Bravo, Aries, for apologizing. I know you're going to listen. I know you're going to do it. Bravo. Ah, uh, Taurus. What's bothering you, Taurus? What's bothering you is adjusting to people around you and being uncomfortable. That's what's bothering you, Taurus. So, what does the universe has to say to you? It is. And spread. Wishes fulfilled. 
Your wishes, wishes fulfilled, Taurus. Your wishes have been grant, germinating. They're deeply planted in the soil of the loving universe and fulfillment is here just around the corner, but faith is required. When we put ourselves out there, it's easy to, def, to get deflated. What if we wasn't, what if it doesn't materialize right away? Have confidence, Taurus. You are more than capable of manifesting your deepest desires. It's all happening, dear one. Absolutely, Taurus, you are, everything is happening. Your wishes are fulfilled, so you won't be uncomfortable and you will learn to adjust to your environment. Yes, because your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're going to be very comfortable. So there you go, Taurus. Uh, next up, we got Gemini, and I need to check these off so I won't go backwards. Gemini, what's bothering you is you don't have anyone to go out with or talk to, and it's bothering you, Gemini. But what does the universe want to say about it? The universe wants to say, embrace your sensitivity, Gemini. Be sensitive and embrace it. Embrace your sensitivity. It says, your sensitivity is a sacred gateway to your intuition. It's that special, receptive radar that picks up energy and signals. In fact, your sensitivity is one of your greatest assets. Yes. And the key to your survival. The more you connect with it, the more miracles and synchronicities you attract. So there you go, Gemini. Embrace your sensitivity. The world will open up for you. Okay. Next up, we got Cancer. I don't know why I always say Cancer like that. Cancer. So Cancer, what's bothering you is you haven't let go of a grudge or accepted an apology from someone. Yes, that's that's what's bothering you, Cancer. But let's see what does the universe want to say. The universe says, tell the truth. Tell the truth, Cancer. Communication with integrity. You may need to level with someone. This person could even be you. Are you saying you're fine, but when you really don't mean it? Are you swallowing your knees because you don't want to rock the boat? When we hide our truth, it eventually comes out in destructive ways. Act with integrity and say what's on your mind. While honesty may lead to short-term discomfort, your long-term peace and happiness are worth it. So yeah, Cancer, tell the truth. It's what the universe is telling you and you understand. You understand what it is you can just tell the truth about. Uh, next up, we got Leo. Leo, what's bothering you is you can't be in the spotlight. And it's bothering you, Leo, that you are not in the spotlight. But what does the universe want to say to my beautiful Leos out there is play. Play, Leo. Just play, just have a good time. I know you can do it. It says, self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? <laughs> do you have enough free time or are you blocked to the minute? Life goes by so darn fast. Make sure you have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike Curiosity and zeal and zest for life. <laughs> when life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for stuff that turns you on. Go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground. You're never too old to wee. Let the fun shine in. And live a little or a lot, Leo. And you're good at that. You like the life of the party. So the universe to you, not being the center of attention, is just play. Be your same beautiful self, Leo. Yeah. Let the fun shine in and live a little or a lot. 
Okay, next message up is for Virgo. In Virgo, what's bothering you is you have nothing to manage or perfect. You don't have anything to manage or perfect right now and it's bothering you, Leo. The universe is saying... Invite your fears to tea. Invite your fears to tea. Don't fear. You're going to get something to manage. But in the meantime, invite your fears to tea. It says, fears on facts. Often there are just scary thoughts or feelings. Instead of judging your fears, invite them to tea. Offer them a cookie and have a chat. Listen to what they have to say. When we're courageous enough to be with what scares us, we receive powerful wisdom. Yes. So invite your fears to tea, Virgo. Face your fears is what the universe is telling you. Nothing won't be bothering you anymore. But Libra, what's bothering you? Libra, you are bothered because you need to confront someone and you can't control the situation. You can't control it. Ooh, my phone is warning me that my battery is low. So let's go, Libra. You can't control the situation, Libra. And you need to confront someone. The universe is saying to you, my loves, is confidence. You got to have confidence, Libra. Yeah, just get some confidence. It says, it takes courage to put your butt on the line and go for it. The best way to strengthen your confidence is to put yourself out there. Who cares what other people think? Everybody starts somewhere. And don't worry about making mistakes. We all I make mistakes during my videos. We make mistakes. You can always correct them. But you're ne but you will never know or grow unless you try. And the more you do, the more confident and more successful you will become, Libra. When you shine, we are all inspired to do the same. So shine for us, Libra, with that beautiful peacock. And we all will shine with you. Have confidence. Okay, let me check Libra off. Next up is Scorpio. Scorpio, what's bothering you? You want to know what's bothering you, Scorpio? You can't take things lightly or get the revenge you seek. So you want to seek some revenge and you're not getting it. It's bothering you. And you just can't take things lightly. It's bothering you. What the universe wants you to do, Scorpio, is don't sting nobody. It says, accept yourself, Scorpio. Accept yourself exactly as who you are. It says, while there's time and a place for self-improvement, today's focus is on everything that's already great about you. Scorpio. Let go of who you think you should be and find it and fall madly in love with who you are at the moment. When you accept yourself exactly as you are, you shift from living for tomorrow and appreciating today. Accept yourself, sweetheart. Yes, Scorpio, just accept yourself. And you won't be worried about getting revenge. Accept yourself in all your flaws and all. Okay, Scorpio? Um, next message is for my lovely, lovely Sagittarius, the Don Juan <laughs> of the Zodiac, if you're a male. Uh, what's bothering you is you can't be right all the time and you can't agree to disagree and it's bothering you. But what the universe wants to say to you is this forgiveness heals. So forgiveness heals. Sagittarius, I guess you need to forgive someone or yourself. It says, forgive yourself and others. Let go of the old story. Release any guilt or and blame. Everyone is doing the best that they can. This includes you. Kickstart the healing process by surrendering all the judgment and hurt. Your health and happiness will thank you. Yes, because you'll be in a better place. You won't be bothered by nothing. No disagreement, nothing. Sagittarius, yeah. 
Forgiveness heal. Forgive yourself and others. Everybody's trying to do their best. Okay. That's what we're doing. Let's see. Next up is Capricorn. What's bothering you? What's bothering you, Capricorn, is you can't keep up your image. You can't keep up your image. You can't keep your image intact. Let's just say that. And it's bothering you, Scorpio. But well, what the universe has to tell you is ask for help. Yeah. You can't do everything on your own, Capricorn. The universe is asking you to ask for help. It says, are you constantly giving others yet rarely receiving what you need? Giving to others and rarely receiving what you need? Then it's time to ask for help. You are not superwoman or superman. So there's no need to do it all yourself, Capricorn. You have an army of angels on speed dial. Give them a call. Communicate your needs and learn to receive. Yes, dear one. When you're open to the help that's all around us, the universe provides assistance. Make sure to look for signs. Once you ask for help, they'll start appearing. Just like that Capricorn. You just got to ask for help. How simple is that? Just ask for help. And you got it. You won't be bothered anymore. Next up is Aquarius. Aquarius, what's bothering you? Huh? What's bothering you? You want me to tell you? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's bothering you, Aquarius. What's bothering you is you can't be by yourself. You just can't. You can't be by yourself and it's bothering you. And what the universe wants you to do is believe. Believe, Aquarius. Believe. There is magic all around you, Aquarius. Open up to the wonders of the universe. Notice the connections and synchronicities. Follow your feelings and believe with all your heart. When we, we successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are aligned with our plans. From that sacred union, the right ideas take shape. The best relationships blossom and the stuff that's meant to, to easily fall into place. Everything is possible, Aquarius. So you won't be bothered if you can't be on your own and do everything by yourself. If you believe you will achieve whatever it is you want. Everything is possible for you, Aquarius. And this is the year of Aquarius. So right there, just got to believe and you receive Aquarius. Next up, we got Pisces. Pisces, what's bothering you? Hmm? Pisces, what's bothering you? <laughs> what's bothering you is you can't acknowledge reality or confront difficult situations. You just can't do it, Pisces. And it's bothering you. So, we're going to let you find out what the universe want to say about that. The universe is saying, offer your love. Look at that. Yeah. So, when you go ahead and confront the difficult situation, offer your love. Offer your love in a difficult situation. It says, is there someone in your life who could benefit from loving kindness? The gesture doesn't have to be big. Send an email, pick up a phone, pop by for a visit, or order a banquet of poses. <laughs> Let this person know that you're thinking of him or her. When we offer love generously, that caring energy comes back to us tenfold while also lifting us up in the process. You feel a magnificent Pisces. Reach out and offer your love today. That's your message from the universe. So you won't be bothered. You'll be able to confront any situation if you offer love. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. I also want to let you guys know that I got a little jazzy today because I finished my oils. So I got a Tangible Goddess Manifestation Oil. They come in these cute, cute little bottles. Roller ball, a little oil. So 
you can put it wherever you like, wherever you like. This is like uh, what it's gonna look like when I send it, a little cutie. So guys, yeah, I'm gonna put some information below and just before this video, I uploaded a little, it's a little short video, so it's gonna be across the storyline about the oils and, and the Dropbox has got information. So if it's not on this video, Look at the video right before and you get all the information there. I love you and appreciate you guys. Blessings to all my kings and queens. Grand rising all day, every day. Peace be with you.